Hey, welcome back to the High Heels and Tea Podcast. I'm Crystal Lee. This is Rianda. And today, we're going to have a girl chat topic, discussion, topic of discussion. Okay. Something like that. You know what I mean. All right. <laughs> so, I was, I don't know why, where this topic was expired from, but um, the topic is going to be, have you ever courted a guy? And I know what inspired this topic. Hmm. So it was just a lot of conversation, obviously, on social media about expectations that people have when they're dating, mm-hmm. men versus women, the usual. And it's just these, it'd it be like these viral posts. I'm like, do women still do this? Or do women, would a woman do this for a man? Or would a woman, you know, it's kind of kiddies. So I don't want to say that part. I don't want to get into that. I just really want to talk from like, our woman to woman, yeah, our perspective, our experience on actually pursuing or initiating a situation. A situation. Yeah. So, have you ever like courted a guy, or what does that what does that mean to you? If I say court a guy, uh, courting a guy would mean to me would be you actually putting yourself out there to tell him that you're interested, uh-huh. and basically let him basically you being the initiator the initiator and them being the chase yeah um so basically just (laughs) putting yourself out there and it's like okay i like him i want to i want to be a part of this situation i definitely do so i have i have definitely courted somebody uh Mm -hmm. I have definitely put myself out there to let them know that i was interested here i go Uh, here i go right and so i mean i think it's it's just like with me and then also with me too um i've courted people Mm. so because i like women right uh you have to you know what i'm saying you kind of have to i feel like when you court people i think it's it's the whole energy of just flirting you Mm -hmm. know you but you putting out there because you see this person as a prospect you mm-hmm. see this person is somebody I have have a potential of liking mm-hmm. or um, wanting to grow something with or mm-hmm. even date, you know, or go or even if it be if it goes there. Because, you know, first initially when you first initially meet somebody, yeah. it's the physical attraction. You, yeah. You're attracted to them physically. And then when you have a communication with them, because sometimes you can be attracted to somebody physically and they don't even know how to talk. Mm-hmm. So it's like, okay, I'm attracted to you physically, then I'm going to spark up a conversation. And I'm always saying slick shit. So when I like somebody, I may say something that's slick to where it's going to get their attention. Mm-hmm. Um, if they can't give me the necessary feedback that I like, I don't even pursue it. Mm-hmm. I don't even like go in depth with it because... I was going to ask you. So you mentioned, you know, you date both genders. Mm-hmm. If you court a man... All right, you initiate right. the contact and everything, and y'all go on a date. Do you pay for that date? And if you go on a date with a woman, do you pay for that date? Me, personally, I'm a, a true believer that if I initiate anything, mm-hmm. I'm going to pay for it. Oh, really? Yeah. So if okay. somebody asks me for or asks me out on a date, mm-hmm. and they, pl- I feel like if you ask me out on a date, you need to plan it. Mm. You need to let me know where I'm going to be and you should pay for it. Mm-hmm. That's how I feel. Mm-hmm. If I ask you on a date and I ask you to go somewhere with me, mm-hmm. I'm going to plan it. I'm going to initiate it and I'm going to pay for the date. You know, and it's it, kind of weird though. No, not to me. Like, I, I, so I don't see nothing wrong if you courting a woman. Yeah. But I don't know. I, I, I don't see nothing wrong with it. I feel like I the initial with date with the man. So... Don't get me wrong. With the man, the initial date should be the man. So that's that's all I'm saying. The initial date. Because I I, I'm not going to ask him. It's, it's just because I courted him, I'm yep. just telling him that I'm interested in him. And if he's and interested. And if he takes on that dynamic that yeah. he's interested in me, yeah. I, I'm the chase. Once I put myself <laughs> out there. <laughs> you like, that's how I feel. Chase me. Like, exactly. Excuse me. Chase me. Exactly. Once I put myself <laughs> out there and say, hey, sir. I like you, you know, you, you, you like me back. Because yeah. one thing that I noticed, yeah. being a strong woman, yeah. a lot of men don't, they don't. It's almost like you have to initiate. Yeah. They don't, they they don't, don't, don't come know how to, to approach me. you. They don't yeah. approach me. They don't, yeah, I don't, you men have to. do not approach me. Yeah. People, I've had men tell me all the time, you look like you stuck up. You look like, and, and men are very fearful of people letting them down. Rejection. Rejection. And I've noticed that, and to me, 
men always say I'm the type of person that they feel like I'm that I'm gonna reject them. Mm. And I'm just like, you never know until you try. Like right. you don't know. But my thing is you have to have a strong mind and a strong will. Yeah. And even if you do get rejected, life goes on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what my situation is. Yeah. So why are you upset because you got rejected? Yeah. And I, I get that too. Um like thinking that I don't know what's in the water or what's going on out there, but it's just like <laughs> always think that, you know, maybe you're mean or whatever. And it's like, well, you know, I'll, like, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to do about that. Um, and that was, I, I wanted to ask that specifically because I instantly was like, oh, okay, well, dating a woman, I could see you courting a woman, taking her out, whatever, whatever. But if you initiate with a man or whatever, there are some women that don't yeah, find yeah. a problem with actually initiating, taking you out or whatever. But I feel like it's almost, it's not equal to be exact on the same, on like on the same level, but it's on the same measuring stick of mm. proposing to a man. Like yeah. it, it's some things like you have to let that not man show you. So you mm. know that he also wants you too in yeah. return. It's the work. So yeah, just because you want him and you tell him like, not, I don't even use the word want, just because you like him and you tell him you like him and all of that, that doesn't mean you have to go to the strong pursuit and actually setting up dates and all that type of stuff. Like you have to give that man some type of ability to show effort mm -hmm. in his own way as well so that everything is mutual. Okay. Yeah. yeah my, I don't know. My cat might, he might make a feature, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> he might make a guest appearance. I don't know what he over here doing. <laughs> you see me clapping at him. You messing with stuff, but he might make an appearance. Yeah. There he goes. You going to make an appearance? Yeah, he's he's making an appearance. But um, I personally have never had a problem. Well, I don't want to say I've never had a problem. I've tried to initiate with men, but I've never been successful. And I mentioned that on podcasts a long time ago. Yeah, that's true. I anytime I've ever, ever had the courage to tell a man, like, I actually like, um, them. like them or whatever, I've just never been successful with that. So I'm now at a point where if I... Um, if I am, if I do, or if I felt some type of way or whatever, I definitely, I don't, I'll be like, it'll pass. <laughs> it'll be like, let it go, whatever, Pretty because it's just it. never been successful. And I think it's all about timing and, and more, but never yeah. been successful with that. But Yeah, I have, I have had some and some mm -hmm. unsuccessful situations. Mm -hmm. I've been rejected before. Like, Re even I like was rejected too before. <laughs> <laughs> I would listen, the person that rejected me came, I went on, I said, okay, cool. Not like that. Cool. My feelings were really hurt because this is someone that I actually had a crush on at mm -hmm. that time. And I got the courage to say something and I got rejected. And he didn't reject it in the sense of like, girl, nah, but he rejected like, nah, I'm not trying I'm not to have it. this or that going on right now. And I was just like, okay, cool. But then literally like weeks later, he ended up getting into a relationship with a girl that me and him both knew. I didn't even know they were like into each other or anything like mm -hmm. that, but he ended up getting into a, re a relationship with her. So I was like, you just told me you didn't want a relationship, relationship. even though I, although I just said, I like you, mm -hmm. but you end up getting into a relationship. So that's like double the rejection. Exactly. So I end up getting into a relationship um, or whatever after that sometime. And my relationship went on and on and on and, and built and grew and it was beautiful and all those things. And his relationship with that person, in so many words, he chose her. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Um, his relationship ended like a couple of months later. Mm -hmm. First thing he did when it ended was jumped in my he inbox and was like, hey, how you doing? I am not I see, number two. I see, you, I see your relationship and I really wish that I, you know, gave you that chance and blase, blase. I feel like we love the same and it's this and it's that. And I was just like, really? So this didn't click in your head when I told you that I liked you? Yeah. And so literally to this day, randomly you see them or whatever. And it's just, it's just like this power I have. <laughs> <laughs> overall because it's like you the dude that rejected me exactly you, you rejected me you really you're rejected right, me you're, you're right. right you remember that remember you said that so i would say that i've never <laughs> been rejected by any man uh, -huh. uh but i have been rejected by oh, men. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much no like i don't get down like that rejection yeah pretty much, yeah, pretty much mm. no i don't get down like that or like you know what i'm saying and then when you talk to women it's a different understanding of prospect because mm. you don't really know you know what mm. i'm saying you don't know 
what what what's given and taken. Mm-hmm. So it's like I may see somebody I'm like, oh, I think she's really pretty. Mm-hmm. Um, I should go talk to her. And it and I can understand the things that guys go through because it takes a lot for me to be like, hey, I'm gonna go talk to her. Yeah. And then it's like I've been rejected before, so it's like, okay. It's not gonna hurt if she don't. She don't. She, if yeah, she do, she, she do. do. If Let's she do, move along. Yeah. Exactly. So it's move like on. I remember it was one time. <laughs> it was this girl. She was so pretty. Mm-hmm. Um, she had like some. Uh, she had her natural hair out, but it was big. She's like big hair, so it was just like she had it in some really exotic, pretty style. And I'm like, oh my gosh, she's super gorgeous. And I was just like. I want to say something to her, you know, and just to even feel the waters or even to just test the situation. And so I walked up to her, talking to her, blah, blah, blah. And, and I just like cordially, I was like, it's not to offend you in any kind of way. Because sometimes you have to say that because mm-hmm. some people do get offended. And it's not to offend you. Like, I just think that you're pretty, mm-hmm. you know. And so and I was just like, um, I would love to take you out one mm-hmm. day or whatever. And she's just like, oh. Well, you're super pretty as well, but I don't, I'm not really into women. And I'm like, okay, oh, okay that's cool. You know, it mm-hmm. is what it is. I'm like, so that's, that's yeah, different. Yeah. yeah. But some people, everybody ain't that cordial. Everybody yeah. ain't that civil. But it's, you know, that's to do with men. Like a woman can say that to a man and they can get mad. Mm. Like, what, or just the fact, like, even if I say that I'm not into you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I don't know, sir. I'm Have not into you. Have you ever had to tell somebody that? Like, I'm not into you. I don't try to be mean. I try not my best yeah, not to be an asshole. Mean. I try my best not to be an asshole when yeah. somebody tries to talk to me. It's just like, but one thing I do do is I stand my ground. You should always stand your ground yeah. because men, sometimes men they get overbearing. Yeah. They get overbearing, especially if they buy you a drink. Yeah. Like, if you're out somewhere and mm-hmm. a man buys you a drink, they think they own you for the rest of the freaking day. Mm-hmm. It's like, sir. You bought me one. Would you like me to buy you a drink too? But like, I'm about to say that if you bought him eating. a drink though, wouldn't you be like, hey, I'm pretty much No. I'm claiming if I if I buy you a drink, no. You need to sit right here. You need to talk to me. <laughs> no. So I'm with I'm, just like the I'm team men. No. If I buy you a drink, you where are you going? I just I purchased the drink for you. For you. you. you bet. What if it's gone already? Oh, I will purchase you another one because we're still obviously we're having a great conversation. We need to continue talking. The two, two but, more. But what if they in they are there with some other people where they have to go and be with their little their group that they're in? Let's let's get up. <laughs> let's go to let's go to the group together. Pisces trait. Or, Pisces trait. Or <laughs> or let's go ahead and and mingle. And if we've been let's mingling, yeah, numbers, if we've been mingling let's get too, this out the way. If we've been mingling too long, yep. Here, hear my number, hear your number, whatever, whatever. But you, I would be damn if I buy you a drink and you walk away from me. Why would you? Why would you do that? That's mean. <laughs> Not me. Yeah, this, you don't. Nobody owes well, you anything. Well, people, me, well, exactly. Nobody owes you anything. You no, know, exactly if I buy you a drink said. and you no. if you accept that drink, you owe me your time. Yeah. <laughs> if I buy you a drink, be on the lookout. Look, you know what, motherfuckers. <laughs> If I, you owe, you, that is an exchange. Like, that's almost like a proposition, right? Them thick thighs come with craziness. Listen, Stop. I wish you would let me buy you a drink and walk away. Now I gotta, now I gotta go tip your drink over. And now I gotta go take it and throw it in your face. You gotta be the best stuff. You know, we're not better do that. Listen. She gonna, like, look, she gonna walk past. What? I bought you. <laughs> you done. You done. That is rude as hell. Like, don't oh accept a drink God. if you don't want to have a conversation there, or you don't yeah. want to mingle with that person. You shouldn't even Choose accept that drink. To an extent. No. Choose you, to an extent. You gonna accept somebody drink and walk some away? People. No, because even with guys and like you don't, you're not a going out person. I'm not. So you I am speaking like really, almost unrealistic. Yeah. I would give me that. Yeah. She don't really go out. When I go out, my people's drive by the drinks. Yeah. You know, I don't have to. Exactly. You don't nobody have to. want me. So <laughs> it's been time. Me. People are rude. You know what I'm saying? Like, and yeah. I agree with you, but it's about strategic understanding yeah. of standing your ground because yeah. some people will be overbearing. Mm-hmm. Like you can say, okay, I could be at the bar about to buy my own drink. Yeah. A guy may walk up and be like, um, hey, how you doing? I'm oh, okay. I'm not a rude person. Mm-hmm. How you doing? Mm-hmm. Oh, what you drinking? Oh, I'm drinking such and so and so. Oh, would you like to buy me a drink? Sure. I was already about to buy my drink. Mm-hmm. I didn't need you to buy me a drink. Mm-hmm. But because you paid for it, thank you. Have a nice day. I don't got to talk to him. 
He, I, I, I do it. I do it all the time, baby. I will walk away quick, and I'd be like, "Oh, thank you." If you want to talk to some, me, I can see some men up. are like real cool like yeah. that, though. They're just by you come thing. holler at me over here once I go from the bar and mm. move in this area, and mm. then we can have a conversation. But no, nah, mm. nope. Maybe I mean, maybe this me. Maybe you've been doing it for so long, you just know how to maneuver in. Yeah. But you buy me a drink, I'm gonna just talk to you. Oh no. Nah. And I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the I'm friend that, that needs to be kidnapped from the ball. Everybody buys me drinks. If I'm yeah. interested, yeah. then yeah, I might Ooh. talk to you. No, if you if you just not it, you can't even buy me a drink. But that's what I'm saying. I'm not even gonna accept that. But that's it from what I'm you. saying. Like a random individual. I didn't even get a chance to see you all the way. I didn't even you just wanted to volunteer your services. So who Susan. am I to say? I accept all big and small blessings. So who am I to say that I that you shouldn't buy me no drink? Soon as I soon as you say this. And I look up, and it ain't it. I'm gonna be like this. Look. What if you look down? <laughs> and you're gonna get such Not a that's rude. No, you're gonna get such a. I don't even wanna waste your time, because you could never. You can never. I don't wanna waste your time. Never. Don't even buy them. Keep your money, keep your, your change, keep your high one. Now, you give me some wings, I'm gonna be like, well, you, well, damn, you got me. <laughs> Well, fuck, forget a, a drink. Give me some wings. You got me. You got me. So, All right. So if you buy me some hot wings, so, yeah. so if you're ugly, you ain't gonna, you know, accept no hot wings. If you, I gotta eat the wings. Now you got. Now you really got me because I'm gonna sit right here and eat it. I was sit right here and I'm gonna eat. Now you gonna have to talk to me. I'm gonna talk to you. To go get the whatever. Yeah. What you yeah. say? Yeah. Or you like? I'm like. So what you like? Barbecue or a bowl? <laughs> <laughs> you like ranch or blue cheese? You're right. What you like? You dip. Wait. Look, you like flats or drugs? Like now we gotta have a whole wing talk. Now you can provide with me. So you got you gotta know how to get certain people. Yeah. Now you can provide with me. You can provide me with some. Say a wings. drink can't get her. A drink can't get me. But the wings is the worst she's gonna. Where I, it's gonna I, I be. get over how you look and you got me some wings. But uh. <laughs> But this has been a real good quick girl chat, y'all. We just wanted to open up the topic of discussion on quarantine wing men drinks. And I would I say would this. Too, though. I would Ooh, before wings, we I end, I have a, I have a scenario real quick for you, and I want you to let me know what you think. So this girl, right? She went on a date with this guy, right? He mm -hmm. took her shopping mm -hmm. in the morning, took her to lunch. I want to go. By, girl, <laughs> by the end of the date, they went to dinner. It was a nice, fancy restaurant. Mm -hmm. All of that. His core end up declining, right? So she ended because up, he had been doing stuff all day. See, hold on. She ended up she ended up having to pay, right? right? But when she got home, he cash tapped her the money, the money, right? But the next day, he wanted to continue. He liked her. He wanted to take her out, and it was like a conversation that she had to have with her family. Like, should I? Because his core declined. But why? I said, well, you maybe it. she just not used to spend her money because when you spend money, like your car will get declined if you spend over a certain amount Anything of money. Anything could happen. Anything could happen. And he cashed up you the money, money back. Afterwards. So, so that meant he had the money. Never mind. I already know what you're going to say. I was going to ask you, what would you have done? I'm going to still date the dude because I'm, I'm gonna interested. Date you because why would I do that? Like, why would I feel some type of way? We've been, he been paying for everything. everything. And all yes. 24 hours that yeah. he's spending with me, anything's possible. Yeah. Things happen. The yeah. money, he might not have had all enough money in his checkers account. He might have had to transfer some money from his savings to his checkers. Yeah. I do it all the time. Mm -hmm. So anything is possible. Mm -hmm. So no, I'm not going to just feel like, treat you I feel say, like no. the way that she described that day, I was like, I would not only win, She's I would never asshole. again. But I would have paid for that next yeah, day. Exactly. I wouldn't take you to no, nothing luxurious. I would take you to like my Coming little low key courtesy. lunch spot or something yeah. like that. But I would have definitely took him out the next day. And I was like, I can't believe that that was even like a conversation. A conversation. Like, that's petty. Petty shallow women. You know, petty and shallow. You know. Super and fake. Yeah. All girl, day. Cut it out. <laughs> all right, y'all. Let us know in the comments what you thought about today's episode um or this week's episode rather not today's episode it's gonna drop on a monday but it's for the week on a monday let us know what you think let us know if you ever court a guy as well or what you think about getting courted as a guy what you think about when women approach you are you cool with it or How not do you feel about it yes yeah. all right thank you for listening to the high heels and tea podcast thank you bye